Congratulations! The survivors have been invited to the grand opening of Survivor Park. The survivors must be designers for a day and create amazing outfits for this super awesome, super fancy black tie event. As the models strut the red carpet runway, their team will give a brief description of their design and why it is the extra most bestest design. The name of the challenge is Paper Project Runway. The goal of the challenge is to make sure everyone feels included and, the, and that the environment encourages a sense of inclusivity and challenges the survivors and their junior survivors to be creative. Survivors and the juniors will be divided up into teams of four that we will randomly pick. The main goal is to design an outfit out of paper, tape, and scissors. Your team must pick at least one person to model the outfit. You need to make sure that your outfits can handle stairs or more. You'll be given five minutes to design the bestest, most creative outfit with mobility and 15 minutes to make the outfit. You'll be judged by creativity and mobility. That's what you call a great dress and a great tuxedo. That's Team Mo Money and Cla Claudie B. So as you're seeing here, we got Gage Altrock rocking what would be a kilt for mobility. Plus he has a double-breasted suit for a all around just pleasant kind of air and things. Then we have Chloe rocking her simplistic dress and Tiara rocking it like the uh, princess she is. <laughs> wow. Wow. What is the presentation of this outstanding outfit? Man, look what we have here. We've got the stunning Jackson Dukes and the amazing Reagan Chambers here presenting us with a beautiful hat that we have presented. It was really just inspired by the creativity of Jackson Dukes. You know, the name of this game is all about keeping it classy, so we've decided to roll rock the tie and the hula skirt for the mobility. But just the absolute just presentation of this outstanding outfit really is what puts this over the top. Great work by both of these two. Just an excellent job overall. This resembles everybody who loves everything and just mixes it all together. It makes it amazing. Hi guys, Team Magic Johnson here. Walking down the stairway, we have Team Davy Jones. He's in a teal skirt cut so that you can walk up and down the stairs. He did uh, tumble down a hill on the way here, so everything's a bit crinkled, but did someone say shoot? Oh. <laughs> Next up, we have Speedalicious come in from his fashion show. He did get stuck in a storm on his way here, so he is not looking his best, but he is still serving us with all of the looks. Strike us a pose, Speedy. <laughs> Woo! Okay, yes, he lost some of his locks on the way here. As you can see, he only has one piece of his hair left, but he makes it look good regardless. Go, Speedy! Yeah! As 
you can see here, we have a nice hula here walking down this epic red carpet. The, she is rocking an epic hula skirt with an extra cape. The crown resembles anyone who wants to be extra. And the bow in the front is just for fanciness because, as you know, we are very extra. It's a bird, it's a plane, it's our super survivor, Kate Dieterich. As you can see, she is dressed for perfect crime fighting attire. Unfortunately, she did fall down a hill on her way here, so her mask may have fallen off. Her little skirt thing that has her utility belt on it may have ripped in half, and even her cape got wrinkled, but that will not stop her from defeating all sorts of evil of the people who don't want to raise money for charity. Uh, yeah. Welcome to Mario Kart Deluxe. In this immunity challenge, you will be partnered up with another survivor to endure a series of challenges along the racetrack. These challenges are whipped cream challenge, a scented scramble, and a blindfolded obstacle course. Under each pair's discretion, one survivor will be the first driver of the cart, while the other prepares for the whipped cream challenge. Once the driver reaches this part of the course, they will take a bag of cheese balls and stand behind the designated line and throw cheese balls at the other survivor's head until three cheese balls stick to the whipped cream. The new driver will go through a short part of the racetrack and then participate in a mental challenge. The object of this is to unscramble the sentence as fast as you can. The drivers will switch again after this. The next part of Mario Kart Deluxe will be a blindfolded obstacle course. There will be strict paths that the blindfolded driver must follow. The non-driving survivor will have to do their best to guide the driver through using only verbal directions. Throughout the course, there will be red and yellow loofahs on the racetrack. The red loofahs signify mushroom speed boost, which will cut five seconds off of your final time. The yellow loofahs signify bananas, and five seconds will be added to every one that you run into. Best of luck, survivors. Three, set, go! Oh God. No, yeah, privilege is a right for a select. It's not a right for select. Yes. Okay. So yeah, now you're I
Yeah. 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 Go a little faster. Slide left. Slide left. Has to make. God, I just got cheated on my ass. <laughs> Wait, that was true. Go go go, 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 take it off, take it off, take it off. Let me see what We came in last place in the immunity challenge. But if there was a competition for most entertaining, we would have been first by far. Something I learned about my junior survivor is that we both share the same favorite movie, which is Mary Poppins, so that was exciting. We beat everyone by a minute, which is kind of insane considering it's like a it's supposed to be like a three minute course and we got two. Mario Kart was like my childhood favorite game, so this like in actual life was amazing. I think I gave pretty okay directions, <laughs> I mean considering we won immunity. <laughs> but one of which with the uh, the cheese puffs, I just ended up just throwing a big handful and got them all on in one try and then we just took It might have been more there. than three. Was I it? had like at least ten of them on your head. I'm yeah, not it was definitely three. more than three. I think it's awesome that we get immunity on the first night because like <laughs> minimum we make it to Tuesday, which that's still really good. The guarantee of making it another night is really nice. We were in the middle, so we had to wait for everyone before us to finish and then everyone after us to finish. And in the meantime, we uh, did some pretty fun things. We had a cartwheel competition, <laughs> uh, which I judged. Uh, the winner was David Johnston, obviously. Have you seen him? I mean, oh my goodness. <laughs> we did an intense rock, paper, scissors battle, which ended in almost a uh, fight against Morgan and Gage. We had yeah. to all hold them back we from each other. We had to push people away. Um, <laughs> I would like to add, um, I might have pulled off the dirtiest drift of all time in history. It I don't know good. if you guys have the film for that, but like, if you could like overlay it right now. The moment that me and Elena got like paired together, I was like, okay, well, this is easy. Um, my junior survivor's great. Uh, Kate was great. We, like we, we started off with a bunch of different ideas and then we set on like a superhero costume. I got a blow up mattress, so I will sleep tonight, thankfully. Reagan is incredible and the money that she raised is uh, unbelievable and their family, they deserve a big shout out to the work they've done. So Reagan, Holly and Jason, shout out to you guys. You guys are amazing. Huge shout out to Jonathan G and his family and Voyager. You guys did such a great job for me and I really appreciate you guys. So basically, you know, we're here at Senior Survivor. She got a battle scar already. Already, I know. Wasn't even here four seconds and she decided <laughs> to rip her leggings. 
My junior survivor won because we dressed her up as a superhero, so they liked that she had a little backstory. Super big secret, whenever we have a leadership thing together, I always make her do the actual... Yeah. I, I write everything out and then you she paints everything. Here. Yeah. Because I can't. And she can't. So we so work I think well we together. Make a good team. Right here, since I'm the color orange this year, I have an orange flag. And someone started this tradition back in 2012. And it's just for the person who has orange and they just carry this around with them the whole time just waving. Waving around, you know? And uh, yeah, but... Today was a fun day. About to go sleep right now because I am really tired. Love you, mom. Love you, family. Love. Thank you, everyone, for helping me out. Did and I killed it. Yes. Olivia and I thought we killed it. We I actually we, pretty we, good. we like dominated we actually. Like fifth or fourth yeah, or fifth. something. We played so. lots of games in between, which was fun. Oh my too. god. That was really they, funny. They had us waiting for so long. Crab so. Yeah. <laughs> Am I the only guy doing this? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. So much I love fun. kids. I literally love those kids. They're they're great. Like they raised so much money for all of us. It was And damn. their fashion sense. Oh. The my girl Zoe had one of these shoulder things on her dress. I don't know what it's called, but ooh. <laughs> and your tiara to finish it yeah. off. That's a masterpiece. Mm -hmm. It was really great seeing the money that they brought into us. Yeah. I was like, I was like, oh my god, you actually raised so much. Like, I think all of them raised a lot more than we expected. Mm -hmm. and yeah. it, was, it was really great to see everyone yeah. in the community contributing. We'll see Is how it? this next whole week turns yeah. out. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Yes, I'm excited. Mm -hmm. Yay!